So, second video of the work unit for uh, grade 12 college prep physics. And uh, we're talking specifically about work today and uh, using these three formulas. So if you could just make sure these are down on your sheet, you write down what they are, and then we'll just apply them. Okay? Uh, I'm going to skip ahead, but if you need to pause to get that down, you go right ahead. Okay, here's our first example. I'm just going to change the view so we can see it a bit better. Um, so the first example is, it says work where force applied is in the same direction as the unit. So the things that we should see in the question, he runs straight at Urukai to get him out of the way. While in contact, he applies a force of 450 newtons, moving 12 meters. How much work does he do? Notice there's no mention of an angle. So this really, right here, is another, is another, um, <coughs> excuse me, another formula you can use. If there's no angle, just take the cos theta out. Don't worry about it. Okay. The reason is that cos of zero is one, so it just, you know, it doesn't, it just is one, so it doesn't affect the formula. But you can just write it like this. So if there's no mention of an angle in the question, just write it like this. See, it's quite easy. Just substitute in. Again, hard to know what's a good answer for these things, but you get used to it. 5400 is a pretty good answer. I'm going to put a check mark on it. And I feel real solid about that answer. Makes sense with the numbers that we have. And again, if we wanted to, we could look up and see how much work, you know, 5,400 joules. Just convert 5,400 joules. How many calories did he? Two kilocalories. And in that practice, he burnt 1.3 calories, which is about right for something like that. Just to give you a frame of reference, the frame of reference I always use is I teach classes at the gym and I know the one really high energy sort of crazy workout that I do in an hour you burn about 700 calories. And that's on top of the regular, like you burn about almost 100 calories, you guys being younger especially would burn probably 100 or more calories every single hour just breathing, just living, right? Um, but then when you do something extra, something really physical, that just gets added to that, you know what I mean? So. In this little 12 meter push, Aragorn burnt an extra 1.3 calories. Okay, uh, work where force is at an angle. Same kind of example, but it's saying now he has a rope tied around his neck. <laughs> well, this is Gollum, not, not Aragorn anymore. He the Aragorn with a rope tied around his neck. But, um, oh, fun fact about Aragorn I just learned yesterday, by the way. Vijo Mortensen, who plays him, is a Montreal Canadiens fan. And during the filming of Lord of the Rings, he actually wore a Canadian's jersey underneath his, um, underneath whatever he was wearing uh, in his uniform, his Aragorn uniform. He always had a Montreal jersey on. There's a little fun Lord of the Rings fact. Anyway, um, so in this question we have Gollum. Uh, did not wear a jersey. Uh, he has a rope around his neck and he's dragging a boulder <laughs> by this rope around his neck. And he's got a force of 30 degrees above the horizontal. So there's the force, 185 newtons. 20 meters he dragged it at that angle. So you just plug it in like this in your calculator, 185 times cos of 30 times 20. Okay, and then, and uh, again, it's a number that, I'm not gonna go through the calorie business again, but that kind of makes sense, at least in the scope of the numbers, right? Even though we don't really, you say poor Gollum burnt about, no, Aragorn burnt 5,400, so uh, that was 1.3, so he probably burnt about a calorie, a kilocalorie really. Okay, um, sometimes you have force in the opposite direction as the displacement, and that means friction. Okay, so we know Gandalf's wagon slides 42 meters. It's sliding to a stop against a frictional force of 18 newtons. Determine the work done by the ground on the wagon. And that specifically is the language, is on the wagon by the ground, because the uh, ground is applying the friction. So just write the givens, um, the formula, make sure there's a negative in there, substitute the numbers in, pretty simple. Okay, pretty simple. Sure, sure, we like it. We'll check mark it. Oopsie. Okay, uh, again, I'm going pretty fast, but please feel free to pause. Okay, if you're lifting an object, if you're lifting an object, then you use the formula mgh. Okay, m being the mass of the object you're lifting, g is 9.8, see that? h is the height, how high. You're lifting it. Okay? So anytime you're lifting, this is the formula you use. So very specific to raising an object up. So uh, just sub in 480 calories, Sam lifting Frodo, and that's it. Um, I put this at the bottom. I think you have this in front of you. 
But sometimes, certainly if you work on the assignment questions, you might see that maybe a question might not be looking for work. It might give you the work and, and it's asked to find the height or the mass or something. So that's why I wrote those down. And if you have trouble rearranging, you might want to put that on your formula sheet. Anyways, that's it for the work video, right? Next is energy. Yep, that's tomorrow's video. So that's it for today. I know that there's some good work questions you can do um, for your assignment, and maybe that's what you could work on now.